Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at year 10 from Logic 1, and this is the Java solution. The problem states, given a non-negative number num, return true if num is within 2 over multiple of 10. So it says here, note a mod b is the, the remainder of dividing a by b. So 7 mod 5 is 2. And we can figure this out because 7 divided by 5, let's just do this down here, 7 divided by 5 is going to equal to, let's just put space, 1, remainder 2. So 5 goes into 7 once, and we have 2 left over. That's the mod. All right. This is a great question to see if you understand mod and to kind of develop that idea. Mod's a really powerful operator. Now we can look here just to make sure we understand the problem. Near 10, 12 is true because 12 is within 2 of 10. 17 returns false because it is not within 2 of a multiple of 10. 19 returns true because it's within 2 of 20, which is a multiple of 10. So the most straightforward way to do this is to write an if statement and check for the, the kind of four cases, well, five cases. Because the five cases are you get 8 for the unit's digit, 9 for the unit's digit, 0, 1, or 2. So if I take num and I mod it by 10, that's always going to give me that unit's digit. So if that's equivalent to, to 8, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 9, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 0, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 1, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 2, well, we're going to return true, and then otherwise we're going to return false. So all we're doing, what's the big idea here? The big idea is when we mod by 10, we get the units or the ones digit. And this is actually really useful for a lot of problems. And if I hit go, that works. Now, of course, I could take this and just take this solution and I can clean it up or just make it more a little tighter. So what I notice here is I have one line of code with this conditional block, so I don't need the braces. That's the first thing I could do, so I can get rid of those. The second thing I notice is that I'm evaluating a Boolean expression, and if that Boolean expression evaluates to true, I get true, otherwise I get false. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to a return statement. And I'll simply evaluate that Boolean expression and return it. And it gets us to a one-liner. Now, another way to go about this problem is by taking advantage of transformations. So one of the things that I would like to be able to do is, you notice how we have this 89012? I could do something where, let's just take this line for a second, and I could do something like, you know, or, and instead of putting 0, 1, 2, I could do nums mod 10 is greater than or equal to 0, and I could simplify this by 1, and I could say nums mod 10 is less than or equal to 2. So basically, I'm checking, oh, pardon me, I think I need to put and, pardon me. So essentially, that should work now. There it goes. So essentially, I'm going to check the 8, I'm going to check the 9, and because these three make up a, a sequence, 0, 1, 2, I can just check it using that notation. And I would like to be able to do it if I had all of these, but the problem is I have this 8 and 9. I can't do it simply. Well, it turns out you can do this by, by using a translation. So let me show you what I mean here. If I take, if I take the number 8, and I take 8, and I add 2 to it, that's going to give me 10. And if I take the 9, and I add 2 to it, that's going to give me 11. If I take 0, and I add 2 to it, that's going to give me 2. If I take 1, and I add 2 to it, that's going to give me 3. And if I take 2, and I add 2 to it, that's going to give me 4. And when I do this, I don't quite yet see a sequence, but I, I can kind of see one, because here, notice 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now if I take this value, and if I mod this by 10, that's going to give me 0. And I mod this by 10, that's going to give me 1. And I mod this by 10, that's going to give me 2. Let's line these up. And I mod this by 10, that's going to give me 3. And if I mod this by 10, that's going to give me 4. And by applying this transformation here and then modding by 10, I get that sequence. 
So what can I do here? Well, I can simply now write a return statement, and I can take, well, I'm going to start off by, by how do I get to this? Well, I'm going to return num mod 10 plus 2. So that's that first part. So basically, I'm going to take whatever the value is, mod it by 10 to get the unit digit, which is this, and then I'm going to add 2 to it, and then I'm going to mod it by 10 again. So I want to check if this is greater than or equal to 0, and is this less than or equal to 4. And I hit go, and there it is. Now, is this necessary in this problem? No, it's not. But it does highlight a nice kind of way to, to kind of play around with these mathematical operators and get a better understanding of how they might be useful. Anyways, with that said, please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions, and have a wonderful day.